Hi Virgo, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing well in the world. Um, I'm going to I'm going to get started in the reading. I just want to say thank you for your support, for returning to my channel, and thank you for um, caring about me and supporting me um, and subscribing. So thank you. But if you're a new subscriber to the channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe channel and the like button. And always feel free to leave me a comment. I will try to get back to all the comments um, that I do. And I really try to stay on top of that. But um, but thank you so much for supporting me. I want to let you know that. You do, you know, that's, I'm, I have my deeply gratitude toward you. All right, so Virgo, let's go into your reading and let's see what is the universe is going to be saying. Uh, with the angels and the gods and see what's going on in your life and I'm going to straighten this a little bit more okay so oops all right I saw that card come out earlier okay codependency all right so um hmm. let's get two more cards angels it's Friday here um in the U.S. and it is 349 as this reading on the Eastern Standard Time, so you know, just to let you know, it's uh, December. I don't even know what the date is. December the eighteenth. So, um, let me know um, if this resonates for you as of today. Okay. So keep in mind that the cards are general reading, and that uh, it can change at any moment. But it's just to give you guidance to what your situation is, okay, and what you can do about it. All right. So that's what I'm here for is to give you love and advice. And also sneak peek if there's any financial things, okay? All right, so let's go get two more. Two more, please. Universe, gods, and spirits. Two more for Virgo. One. One more for Virgo. One more for Virgo. One more for Virgo. There you go. I love the cards to jump out at me. If you're a new uh, person subscriber, I don't really like to choose the cards. So please be patient with me as they come out. Okay. Uh, codependency here, as we were saying. Um, heart to heart conversation and free yourself. Okay. I'm going to put it here because this is what I felt like here when I saw this. All right. This can mean a, a lot of things here. Uh, codependency. Now, this could be for your person, it could be for the cross watcher, it could be for you, but I'm reading for you, Virgo, so I'm going to read it towards you, okay? I feel like there's a part of you in your heart, in your being, in your fiber of who you are. You have this part of you that feels like you don't know what to do with it. It's like it bothers you, it irritates you, it annoys you. And it's something inside you that you feel you cannot release. And you do feel like this unicorn that is in a prisoner cage here. It's like there's something inside you that you just can't move forward on and, and to be able to let it go. You, it, it's, still, it's still like a monkey on your back. It's, still, it's in your thinking. It's in your, your emotions. It's still clobbering you inside you, okay, inside your, your who you are. You know, even if you go into day-to-day -day business, but inside it bothers you and it, it's there and you just don't know how to get it out. Okay. It's something that you feel like you need to purge out, but you don't know how. Okay. You need to let it go. Uh, how to let it go. Okay. You still feel like there's something tying you to yourself. Okay. And I'll get more on that to the tar tarot, but there is a codependency issue here. And I believe this came from your childhood. There's, there's a codependency where... Maybe you didn't feel loved as a child or you feel the need that you need to have someone with you. You need some, you just want a partner. You want someone to love you, someone to care about you, someone to be there for you. And that is okay. That's a healthy thing. But, but when it's a need and versus a want, I want a person to be there for me. I want a person to love me. You see how the words are different between I need and I want. So there's a person that you have became attached to and you don't know how to get out of the situation. And this is coming back from your childhood all the way up to your relationship. Now, if you're getting into a relationship or you just got out of one, but there's a heart to heart conversation you need to have. This is with yourself. What does a Virgo want? 
What do you need for you to be happy? What does Virgo want? Okay. What do you need for yourself to be loved and cared for by your own, by yourself? Okay. You need, you know, and that is the part of feeling something is missing in your life, but you feel so drawn to this need that you need to do it. You want it so bad. You crave it, but you feel like you can't get it out. Okay. All right. So, wow, that's over all energy here. I just flipped immediately. Okay. So let's go into your reading here. Yeah. This is the will card in reverse. It's not moving forward. So that is what, before I even touch the deck, I felt that immediately. You are in a situation you can't move on from. All right. Could have been abuse from your childhood. It could have been in a relationship, abusive relationship that carried over from your childhood to um, your adult world. And this could be from a sense of belonging. You didn't feel that nurturing part of you when you were a child. So it's making you cling on to people. Okay. Get attached easily to people. But you got into a situation that um, you just need to have a heart to heart conversation first with yourself honesty okay all right so but let's go on see what else is waiting for virgos virgo angels are saying please be honest with yourself please be honest to yourself open your heart to yourself Show me the past for Virgo, please. Um, I'll put it there. Came out sideways. Show me for Virgo. Oops, okay. That one wanted to jump. Okay. Oh, this just gave me chills. <sighs> All right. As we were saying, the wheel's not turning, Virgo in your favor because you're stuck in this this bound you feel bound inside yourself or you're bound to a situation and with this together here the full card in reverse you can't take that leap of faith you, you're afraid you feel in the feeling of being afraid to not move on you don't know how you don't know how to get it out you don't know how to purge it you can't get into that new direction the full card it's about taking a new direction, but in the reverse, it's like you're being stuck in an energy that you don't know what to do with. With the four of wands here, in the upright, it means family life and love and all that, but it came in the sideways here. And I'm going to tell you in the reverse, that means it's something that you don't want, but it came here. It's showing up with that fool card and with that will of fortune card here coming in the sideways. It's making, and usually I turn it either way. But in this situation, it's about you choosing because of that free and the chariot card is here about moving forward. Are you going to stay stuck like the black horse? Are you going to stay stuck in this energy in the dark part of your soul and your being? Or are you going to move towards the light with the white horse and move into a new direction? Okay, this is a choice. So putting that with that family card, if you're really looking for this, Virgo, Okay, you need to turn the card upright. Right now, you're stuck in energy. You really want, I believe you want it. It's not that you don't want it. You do want it. It's like a maybe here. Like, you, this is something you're gold to, to want. But the feeling is you're afraid to make that move. You're afraid to get out of this energy to, to get this. This is what you really want. Okay, you want this, Virgo. But you're afraid to make the steps and l release whatever's hurting you to this. Okay, this is what, so I'm going to put it back in the reverse. This is what I'm seeing from your past energy or recent past energy. Okay, so as we're moving the white horse, let's see what's coming in your present to leading into your future. 
some of the cards that Virgo needs to see, please. What does Virgo need to see? Yeah. Okay. What is Virgo wanting? Please show me Virgo's thoughts. All these cards are flipping. I can't take them off. <laughs> so bear with me. Okay, they're being angel guys and spirits. Please help Virgo in this difficult situation. Show the card for Virgo, please. One more, please. All right. Okay, Virgo, leading into the light, as we were talking earlier, that white horse, you are choosing to go to the direction of the light, to be happy, to, to, to feel better. You feel energized. You want that light direction. You want. You don't like where you're at right now. You don't like that feeling you're carrying, that burdens you are feeling. You are feeling, because here's the um, nine of wands. Here, the nine of wands is exhaustion. Is tired. You're really tired of this. You really don't want that. So it does show you that you're trying to work on yourself. You're trying to research. Maybe you're looking at a lot of YouTube videos. You're looking at a lot of messages that people leave in comments. Maybe you're studying and, you know, there's something you're studying here to make yourself a better person. So I'm really proud of you for that, Virgo. And here you are, the Queen of Wands, uh, Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, Queen of Swords. You're starting to have a really strong um, um, understanding of yourself. But you do have this guard against your heart. You do have the mental clarity. You are guarded, though, okay? And that's okay because eventually the guard will come down. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that there's a part of you that you want needing to release and purge and to, to get yourself out of. And with that, um, swords energies also means communication. It's in a good way. It's a swords energy of having that, like I said, that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your honesty to yourself, to your heart. Okay, Virgo, that you need to say, what does Virgo really want? That's the honesty to yourself. Okay, let's continue. If this is resonating for you, please, um, please leave a comment. And anyway, go ahead and click like and subscribe to my channel. And that way you'll get uploads on your readings, okay? I do two or three times a month so uh, for Virgo, so please go ahead and do that. Leave me a comment. Um, click like and subscribe. So anyway, let's see what else is going on with you, Virgo. Okay. This one's wanting to come out. King of Wands. Another one. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Queen of Wands in the reverse. One more, please. Actually, they gave me two. So let's take that. All right. So, wow. Wow, the manifesting card. Okay. Um... Basically, what the, I'm gonna lay that there for a minute, but basically, you have the King of Wands, the Hangman in the upright, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and here you have the Five of Wands sorry, Five of Wands in the upright. Okay, all right, so what has happened here on your story, Virgo? You were with someone, and that's that codependency here. It's you. It could be your person or cross watcher. This is the codependent because usually the Queen of Wands stand into her power. The Queen of Wands. And it shows that she's not she gave her power to someone. Could it be this king you gave your power to? Remember, gender roles are not Pacific, so 
take it as it resonates. Um, but there's some internal conflict here that needs to be go let go. Okay. The hangman's talking about letting go, uh, reaching for new things, letting go of those situations that bounds you and ties you. Okay. So free yourself. You see how you're tied to the tree here. You're tied to the tree and easily, if you just let your foot out, you know, you feel like you're going to fall. You know you will fall, but where? You, would you fall in the ocean? Would you feel, fall on land? Um, this is the, the codependency part, okay? That you have this fear of letting go. Of uh, this king that you were with, that you have been, okay? This king that you have that internal conflict with, okay? And that person has brought you down and made you codependent. And, but this person you felt like fed your soul. It made you, this person made you feel like they want, they needed you. Um, like, or sorry, that you needed them. They put that in place into your emotions. But here's the manifesting card here. Virgo, this is one of the best cards in the deck. And in your situation here, this means that the magician is bringing uh, lots of luck to you. They want to bring the magic to you, back to your life, to release you from these things, okay? They are there with you. And also the mag magician is also working with temperance and the high priestess to balance your life, okay? So, you know, believe in yourself here. There is hope for you to release this energy, but you need to do the work in this situation, of codependency and freeing yourself from that energy. All right, so we're going to look into your near future. So great that it starts with the, um, this is an extra card that came out with the, the five of wands here. They're showing that they're there to manifest and help you. All right, so be careful what you wish for, right? <laughs> but sometimes we wish for things and then we get in that situation where, like, uh, no, this is not what I asked for. But you are taking a new direction here because the course here is leading into the sunlight of your happiness. You just got tired of it and you're working on yourself to improve. You, but you know what's going on. You know that you need to let go of this king or queen. That um, The king here uh, could be a woman, vice versa. Um, let me go. And, and But the, the internal conflict is still there. Okay, but let's look into your near foot. But the manifesting card is here the magician is there to help you get out of that uh to help you purge that to help you release it and so you can understand what codependency means okay it's a need for wanting someone or something but you are working on freeing yourself but the first step is to have that heart heart conversation with yourself that you know what you need to do you're codependent and that's not a good healthy thing that's not emotionally or mentally healthy so work, you are working on yourself and you are letting a lot of this internal conflict go. That's what the magician is saying. So let's look into your near future. So for a go. Let's look into the near future for Virgo. Look into the near future for Virgo. Another hangman and upright. You're, just, you're going to work on that. You're working on letting go. The magician is going to be there to help you. That's a double confirmation right here. Right? And they both came in the upright. Here it goes near future. There's going to be victory of letting go. Good job. There I go. I'm so happy to see this. This could have came out in the upper, but I'm gonna leave it in the reverse. And the Empress is there. One more, please. One more, please. Okay. All right. Now the good news is that you're letting go. You understand that you can't move forward remember the wheels your overall energy you can't move forward until you release all this 
out of your system, out of your head, out of your emotions. This person who really um, made you, that you were you were the codependent, and they had brought some kind of misery to your life. Um, but here you have a hangman of you are the manifesting. They're letting go. They're helping you with this. The universe is helping you. Uh, the king of wands can come into the reverse, uh, come in upright. But because I saw it in the reverse, I'm going to tell you both ways what you need. To, because it came in the reverse, the king of wands is saying, you know, there's go you you won't change us, and you need to do those changes. You need to make take action on yourself, and for you to have this release of this um, feeling you have that's not letting you move forward. But you will have victory. Believe in your hope. Believe in your manifesting. Pray. Do what the work you have to do. Because here it's showing that the changes are going to become a decision for you to make. All right. And only you can make the change. Right. So I'm going to leave that there. But once it turns into the King of, the King of Wands, when you do make the action, you do make the choice of having an honesty heart to heart, you're going to become the Empress. You're going to see yourself a whole different way. You're going to see a new light inside you. You're going to see all the radiance from the sun that was helping you, okay? That was showing you that right direction. So follow your, your feelings of releasing this. You see her, what's in her hand, all right? She is saying, that is the part of your freedom here. Yes, you did it, Empress, okay? But just be warning. This is just a warning that kind of came out after it. You're going to have this uh, Knight of Pentacles uh, might, might be returning slowly back to you. Keep in mind what this person did to you. All right. So keep in mind what this person did. That person might be a narcissistic person. This person might be a person that just needs you when they need you. And they put you uh, to the side until the next time. Okay. But. You're not there for that kind of show business. You are there to, you're here on earth to make yourself better. And that's what I see you doing right here. But remember, this Knight of Pentacles, even though you turn into Empress, might come back and stop and hinder your growth. So I hope this Wheel of Fortune, you know, it's stopped right now in the past and you're working on Hopefully, slowly, I really wish for you to turn that wheel forward. Okay. So you can keep that energy moving forward but that's what the magician is saying move forward you will be victory you if you let it go you have this enlightenment you have this thinking you're you know you're thinking about it let it go right you're just let it be free and this is going to come back to you when you turn into empress you're going to feel free you're going to get out of that gate of you feel like your own prisoner right now or maybe in the recent past be careful with this this is never the knight is just a player to come in to play with your feelings and he's coming in, you know, it could have been a king that played with you. Um, but just be careful with that, okay? All right, Virgo, so this is your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, please go ahead and click like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. And um, also, if you need any love advice, a healing advice, uh, look in the description box also. Um, I do love talk, helping people through their problems and helping them solve it to become the best that they can be. I have been in your shoes. I know how you feel. Um, so let me know. And also check out my other channel, Rise Above Narcissism. I started it about a couple months ago, and I didn't really put a lot of videos on that. I put a couple videos there. But go ahead and take a look at it. If it's, um, I will pick it back up later on. But right now this is my, my feeling. This is what I love to do. But uh, take a look at those couple videos, and that may not help you understand why you have that codependency, okay? All right, so sending you your love and life, Virgo. Take care. Enjoy your days and enjoy your life because life is short. Don't forget that, okay? Be, you're a beautiful person, so enjoy your life and have fun, all right? Take care. Enjoy. Take care. Bye.